Hi, thanks for joining me today. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about significant figures and the rules to follow when multiplying and dividing. Let's start with the rule that we're going to follow for multiplying and dividing, which is that we need to round to the least number of significant figures contained in the calculation. Let's look at an example of multiplying with significant figures. Let's take 27 multiplied by 431. Now the first step is to just do the calculation. You can type this into your calculator and you should end up with 11,637. Now the next step is to look at each value that you used in this multiplication. Now 27 has two significant figures. 431 has three significant figures. And the rule that we're gonna follow is to round to the least number of significant figures. And in this example, that's two sig figs. So let's go to our answer, 11,637 and round to two significant figures. That six in the hundreds place is gonna round the one up to two, and so our final answer will be 12,000. Now let's look at a different example where we're dividing with significant figures. Let's start with 1.094 divided by 12. Again, the first step is to just put this into your calculator and see what we're working with. In this division, you should end up with 0.09116667, etc. Then we have to look at the sig figs in our starting values. 1.094 has four significant figures and 12 has two. Now we have to compare and we're going to round our final answer to the least number of significant figures, which again is two. So let's go back to our answer and keep only two sig figs. That one is gonna round down, so our final answer will be 0 0.091. Now, you might be wondering why scientists put such high importance on significant figures and why we have these rules to follow. And it's because in science, precision is so important. These numbers that we're using represent data. And at the end of the day, we don't want our final answers to be more precise than our starting values.